السلام علیکم ہیلو گائز ہو یو ویلکم ٹو ای سی ایل ای جی کمپیوٹنگ لیکچرس ٹو ڈے وی ول اگین ٹاک اباؤٹ دا سبجیکٹ آف سسٹم این ایل سی جی اینڈ ڈیزائن اینڈ وی ول اگین ڈسکس ون آف دا ٹاپک فرام دس سبجیکٹ اینڈ آور ٹو ڈے ٹاپک از پروجیکٹ سلیکشن اینڈ مینجمنٹ بفور گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ دس ویڈیو پلیز لائک شیئر اینڈ سبسکرائب دس چینل فار مور ویڈیوز تھینک یو It has been seen that uh, when the different IT departments achieve the numbers of IT projects, then they have to face the challenge to supply all the, pro all the projects on time. So in the uh, recent 10 years, it has been seen that the most of the chief information officers have the challenge to select the appropriate project. So for this purpose, they have to see that which project will pay the highest IT investment to them. So for this purpose, recently uh, analysis was conducted by AM uh, Research Incorporation and from this analysis it has been seen that 2 to 15 percent of the projects taken by the IT departments are not strategic to the business. So therefore it is need and all the IT corporations or departments should carefully prioritize, select and manage its portfolio of the development projects. So otherwise they will suffer in the future. Historically different IT departments have tended to select the projects by three different ways. One is the ad hoc method means that first in first out means if you will get any project firstly then you will work on that project first and then after that if you if you will get the project later on and step by step you will work on each project second is the political cloud and it means that that the projects have the political influence and third is the uh, we can use the proverb that is called the uh, swiki uh, squeaky wheel getting the grease and which means that the problem which have loudest problem and the, the, those problems who have uh, achieved the more attention by the audience by the society so these are the different types of the problem and uh, mostly IT departments have tended to select the projects from all these three criteria in the past Yes, it has been seen that the different uh, projects that have been collected by the IT departments, they were not found aligned with the business goal. But now in recent years, IT departments have collected uh, project information and mapped the project contribution to the business goal. It means that if your project with, will be aligned with the business goal, it means, yeah, it means that might be possible uh, there are more chances that your project will go in a right direction. If your project is not aligned with your business goal, it means that your project will be on risk. So here we will talk about the project portfolio management. It is a process of selecting, prioritizing and meeting the project results. And because nowadays uh, different IT departments are facing and getting a number of potential projects so due to, with the, the limited resources, so it is very difficult for them to manage all the projects. And different uh, number of softwares for like that HP project and portfolio management and open source project .NET. Uh, these softwares have become valuable tool for the different organizations which help the IT departments to, and uh, which helps the IT department that how they can select, how they can prioritize and how they can monitor their projects and what will be the consequences of uh, the project that they have obtained from the different organizations. So they are working on project portfolio management and uh, uh, this type of process is uh, quite helpful for them. Once uh, uh, any project is selected, uh, then uh, it has to pass from the different channels like that. First, once up any project is selected, the process of planning is started. After that, we have to specify the time framework. And third is the minimum cost and fourth is the desired outcome. Means that once a project is selected, 
After that, the system development project undergoes a thorough process of project management, where it is seen that how we will plan the process and after that how we can deliver this project within the time framework and how we can complete this task with the minimum cost and the desired outcomes and these all the things are performed by the project manager a project manager play a vital role and he have to see the numbers of hundreds of tasks and roles that need to be carefully coordinated and uh, here i want to mention that there are numbers of the trainings and professional certifications that a project project manager can perform or do for to enhance the skills and uh, it can be seen that project management has become a vital and professional field nowadays and the numbers of trainings and the professional certifications are available through the different number of project management institutes and then dozens of the software products are available to support project management activities although these trainings and softwares help out the project managers to enhance the skills but most of the times the project managers have to face the unreasonable demands from the project sponsor definitely with the passage of the time as the project manager is working on the project so the different number of queries are provided by the project sponsor and it is very difficult for the project managers to handle such type of queries and mostly queries are faced by the project manager in the starting of the project especially when they get the proposal with a low cost with a low bid so it is a very challenging task for the project manager to promise the system and it is very difficult for the project manager to deliver the system on time and these are the restrictions that have been faced by the different project managers nowadays a project manager can make the project successful by project management for this purpose he have to start with the realistic assessment of the work that needs to be accomplished and he should know about the plan first of all he should know the basic steps of the project management and he should also know that which methodology will be fit for the characteristics of the project if the size of the project of the system is high so he should know what will be the time framework in that time he can complete this project easily after that the project manager have to make a list of tasks that need to be performed by the different staff and after that staff needs are determined and the project manager sets in a place mechanism to coordinate the project team throughout the project and in the end the project manager monitor the project and refine estimates at per work proceeds okay in the end if we conclude all the today lectures so we have talked about the project selection and management and we have seen that in the uh, last 10 years the the uh, the project selected by the different organizations were not up to date in sense of in terms of the goals business goals but after that they have improved themselves and select those projects which were aligned with their business goals after that we have seen that how different project managers can enhance their skills by up getting the different professional certification and how these certifications help out the different project managers to complete the tasks on timely and what steps the project manager should take on time to complete the project successfully so it's all about for the today video and i hope that you understand my today video if you like this video please like share and subscribe easy computing lectures for more videos thank you